Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vanilla here, playing another Hunger Games post commentary for you all. And today I'm playing as a turtle kit, and I'm teamed with the Sponge PvP in this gameplay. And uh, right now we're not meet up, met up because I'm just making supplies, and we're gonna meet up later in the game. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and make both of us some stone swords, and I'm gonna start heading towards his location because he went the wrong way and uh, went the opposite way of the swamp so I had to get him some supplies and stuff so I'm taking a long journey over to him he was pretty far away and you know it was pretty far away you know <laughs> so I'm just w taking this time to walk over there so quickly I want to talk about a few things so um, I am releasing a texture pack soon uh, just for the heck of it cause I, I just like making texture packs, it's kind of fun, even though they're not as good as some. They're just fun to make and stuff, so I, I will be releasing one pretty soon. So anyway, right here we meet up with Sponge PvP and we're tracking the next guy. And we see him in the jungle here, and he's down in this ravine crafting, so Sponge PvP goes ahead and takes down the takes him down and we go ahead and kill him. And we are a duo turtle, which is a pretty op um combination of a two man team so while one is getting taken the hits the other can hit and stuff like that so it's pretty OP but um yeah so this was recorded actually quite a while ago um I just haven't had the time to edit it so that's why it's post calm right now so we're going off to the next guy and we see him down here Lego and um he's just running I tried to boost sponge but it didn't really work too well and we're gonna use the strategy and it, it it turns out to be really effective in this fight um, and the creeper kinda scared us we all thought like what the heck but it, it was going after me so it didn't really explode or I don't really know what happened there but he's taking all the hits and when I come in I'm just killing him right here so it's really effective while one's just shifting you can just go in and take him out and um, we learned that from one of Sinnoh's video uh, he said uh, the most like the kits that he didn't like and stuff like that. So now we go ahead and kill him there, and there's about 23 players remaining. So we go ahead and head to the next guy. We recraft, get ourselves sorted, and we see this guy in a ravine not so far away. And Sponge PB goes and heads and takes the kill right there. So I fast forward this part where we go ahead and make full iron armor. Um, I had to cut it out because, you know, it just took a while to mine. It was like a 10 minute process of mining. So it was just going to be really boring to watch. So I went ahead and cut it out till we start to make our full iron. So what I'm doing right now is just chilling with Sponge, making some full iron armor, and we're about to find, I'm trying to find a way out as the iron is being smelted. And, uh, yeah, so we're just mining ourselves out to the surface of the world and we come across a spider that really scares us and two suited up zombies and yeah so we go ahead and go ahead and go after the next guy and uh sponge pp left without me of course because he's a terrible teammate so i had to catch up to him but then we see this full iron in the top of the hill and he put up a great fight and uh, I feel really bad for 2v wanting him but he put up a pretty good fight so props to you for a good fight there's a guy just died so there's 12 players remaining I was just shifting I was having some fun and uh, he was a viking so he was doing diamond sword damage which is pretty effective um, he lasted quite a while and um, I do end up fast forwarding it because it did take a long time to kill him and we go ahead and decide to 2v1 him because Sponge PP was bad and he's bad and all. I'm kidding. So, we're just. I, I mean, what else are we gonna do? It's just pretty mean, but, you know. We kill him right here. And he cusses with us, curses us out, and uh, we kill him. So now there's eight players remaining, and uh, the feast is about to go on. There's about three minutes till feast. So we're gonna go ahead and go there next because. Um, that's how we're gonna win the game. So there's seven players remaining, and as we're going to the feast, um, we encounter something pretty funny because SpongePP saw this going on, and I had to go help him. 
there are three full irons, and I think there was it was a three-man team of full irons actually, but they were all kind of fighting, so maybe it was a two-man team. But it was pretty crazy, and SpongeBob does kill one, and I kill the other. Um, I take Chicken Man, and he takes some other guy. Um, but we all like just fight. It's a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of full irons out here, and um, it's like a party. We're all just having some fun, PvPing each other. So yeah, I just go ahead and chase um, Chicken Man. As you can tell, SpongeBob did kill a guy, uh, Kangaroo actually. So now there's six players remaining, so we only have to kill about four more players, which is pretty good. And uh, we're just chasing down this guy, and um, he's a uh, jumps into a cave actually. Um, actually, I think I hit him into a cave, which is pretty awesome I think I hit him in right here actually no I don't know what happens but he keeps running and we just keep fighting him off fighting him off and uh, right here is when I hit him into the cave great boost into the cave he misses his parkour he tries to escape but this is the end of his life right here as he's running out of his soup he's trying to refill the last soup in your inventory and we all know that feeling when you have one soup left and you're getting 2v1 it's a terrible feeling and it, it's not very fun so there's 30 seconds to the feast so we go ahead and hurry over to the feast um, and we do end up seeing a tower and one full iron and this guy was one of the three that we were fighting earlier but he escaped but I go ahead and cut that out because it was a boring uh, there nothing really happened and now I'm going after this full iron in a tower as you can tell um, he likes a TNT, but luckily I was turtle, so I was able to survive the massive fall. And SpongePP goes ahead and goes up and pillars up to him, tries to sneak attack and stuff like that, and does end up hitting him down, which is pretty awesome. And we have a very long chase to find this guy. He had water and he had fire and everything, so it's just a very long chase. As you can tell, it's just maybe going across the whole map or something. It took a very long time. But eventually we do catch up to him. Um, he does make some fatal decisions that he shouldn't have done by stopping and stuff like that. But right here, I do get a nice hit off him um, as uh, we are trying to be more effective and casting out all his moves, stuff like that. And right here, I get a hit off him and it slows him down. And he tries to light us on fire, but he lights the tree on fire instead and lights himself on fire. And now SpongePP and I are the final two, and we go ahead and 1v1 out, and um, yeah, so we fight each other, and yeah, so I'll leave you to some music, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you did, drop a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys.